Morning, you guys. We're in a bit of a rush because we have to hop into this Tudor quadrifoglio. I'll explain why we're in it in a tiny bit. We're with Queen Bee. We're with Archie. We're getting into the car. I'm hopping into the back, actually. We're closing the boot. It's a four-person road trip over. Today is a very exciting day. We're in the car now. Archie and I are in the back. Uh, Archie and I are in the back. In the back. And then we got Ao up front, Becky at the wheel. We are cruising over today. We are spending the day with Shell and asking Sebastian Vettel, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that's cool. Legendary driver. We're asking him a few questions at a Shell petrol station. So I'm super excited. We've just been looking up Seb Vettel to get a bit of background so that we know exactly what we're talking about when we're asking questions so that if the conversation deviates in a certain way, ready to, to to sort of keep going with it and know what we're gonna say also we're gonna have to because this whole event is put on with the uh, shell we're gonna have to wiggle some shell um, sort of questions in there somehow so it's gonna be pretty fun first time I've done like a proper interview with a guy like this so yeah and Archie's here for a video which is actually very exciting which you've probably already seen after this we're picking up his brand new car we got stuck in some pretty bad traffic so now we're basically gonna arrive at this petrol station and we just got told we're effectively gonna walk in and go straight into our interviews so sick this is it we've made it to a shell station any signs of Vettel around no, I haven't seen it. not yet oh, no, it is. No, we've got a slot in about five minutes don't really know when we're going we we're supposed to be interviewing them it will go really five quick. minutes ago. yeah it will go quick anyways we're gonna head out there when they call us basically hi how are you as well. Ah, is it? Yeah, 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 it is as well. Okay. So we're just filming another YouTube channel. Alright. Um, but we thought we would do it here in front of a Ferrari, yeah, cool. in front of the Shell V power stations. But Sebastian is not a very common name in the UK. No, 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 no. Well, I'm French. I'm originally French. Ah, okay. So Sebastian. Sebastian, exactly, with, okay. the, with the E in at the yes. end. Uh, but yeah, I thought I'd let you know because we're, we've got the same name. I wanted to ask you because Ferraris and race cars are all fueled they use Shell uh, V-Power. And I wanted to ask you, is there anything in particular that you use before a race? Like is there a routine you have or something you need to fuel your body before you go into a race? Uh, which is what you need. Yeah, maybe it's not uh, as high uh, quality product as the fuel that actually goes in yeah. the car. Yeah, but, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, uh, you try to hydrate well during the day. There's certain routines, especially after we have the driver's parade, I think two hours before the race. Yeah, yeah, after yeah, yeah. that, that's when I try to have a bit of quiet time. You yeah. get changed, you get ready. Uh, I usually have a snack, like a banana. Um, as I said, make sure I drink enough well before the race. Yeah, that must be important. And then, uh, yeah, yeah, once you get into the garage, you take the car to the grid. It's yeah. all, yeah, 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 yeah. From there. I know you obviously love Ferrari and you actually have a few to yourself. Do you have one particular Ferrari which is your favorite one yes. ever? Produced? Yes. Straight F off the bat, F40. you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what yeah. I've had so many people. I've never experienced one, but everyone who's yeah, experienced you one try. always it's says. It's a real driver's car. It's yeah. obviously it's very different pure, to modern cars, but very yeah. pure. Because these modern ones now, they're fantastic as well, but so they, they've yeah, changed they a lot. Yeah, much more sophisticated, yeah. let's put yeah. it this way. But, yeah. uh, and when the sure, turbos come the new on in the 40 Yeah, the new ones are quicker, yeah. they handle better, and so on. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's the, the one that I've always played with when, you know, as a little kid. Oh, really? Toy car, you so. had it as a toy and yeah. then, oh, that's yeah. fantastic. And they're beautiful to look at, they're yes. fantastic cars. Now, listen, if you had to go back, so apart from today's Formula One cars, if you had a particular, like, the 80s, the 90s, the 70s Formula One era that you could go back and race in, I'm sure you've been asked this a lot before, but um, do you have a... Yeah, I mean, obviously, I haven't, you know, I, I can only judge from what I heard. Yeah. From people yeah. who were there, mm -hmm. who were drivers that were part of it uh, in the past. Obviously, the cars now are as fast as they ever have yeah, been. So yeah. that's if you can choose, you probably want to go. You don't want to go any slower. Yeah, you want to. But in terms of probably in terms of camaraderie, camaraderie uh, with the other drivers, I think in the 70s there was a really nice spirit. In terms of how pure the cars were, I think early 90s, yeah. when they started to be, you know, a bit more modern with downforce, proper downforce, but still raw, yeah. uh, with a lot of power. Yeah, uh, yeah, V12 engines, so I think that was yeah, fantastic. Uh, right the, time. the sounds and everything as well. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, around the time that Nigel drove yes. Senna. Yeah. yeah, that yeah. would be your particular. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I would like to try it. Let's put it this way. Yeah, it would be amazing to go back and try it. Give it a go. And are there any tracks that are uh, being discontinued now that you would love to go back and race? That you Not really. I think to? we still race the best tracks, uh, such as you know Suzuka in Japan. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Silverstone is great for the drivers yeah, because yeah. a lot of high speed corners. Yeah. Uh, but there are other tracks as well with a lot of history like Monza, mm. obviously with Ferrari. It must be it's amazing. Great. Yeah, so yeah, it's still we have a you know, we have a lot of races, more than they had in the past. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, yes. 
we have a good choice. Is there a particular place that you go on the F1 sort of circuit, a country or something that you always look forward to? You're always like, oh, I can't wait to get back to there or a track? Or well, I mean, we have a lot of, obviously a lot of races, so there's a lot yeah. of places you, know, yeah. you, you look forward to go back, try something new. Uh, especially the races we do inside the city, yeah. uh, like in Australia, that must be so special. Melbourne or Montreal yeah. in Canada. Yeah. You know, you always try to see something different, yeah. Yeah, uh, go somewhere new, and after a couple of years, you know your way around. So it's, it's quite nice. Yeah, because yeah. I live I live in Monaco, so being able to be there and see, you know, for me it's weird because I've lived there my whole life and then seeing this track suddenly, you know, come out of yes. nowhere almost. Yeah, yeah it must be terrifying when you're driving around. I can't imagine what it's like in a race car. Even just well, it's not terrifying. It's quite nice. Obviously, yeah, there's no, yeah. you know, there's traffic only one way, so that helps. Yeah, 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 <laughs> but uh, yeah, for sure, it's it's one of the highlights. Yeah. And do you get to go out and, and drive some modern Ferraris quite a bit now and uh, experience sort of driving? You put your Shell V power in, and then you go out and yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I like driving. Obviously, yeah. uh, we're very busy during the yeah. year, but uh, yeah. when there's time, then I like to go for yeah. a joyride. You know, yeah, just to. Amazing. Yeah, to have fun and enjoy a car the car like this as well, yeah. top down. Weather like this. Yeah, no, it's the best thing ever. I've seen some videos, I've had a friend who's done a video with you where you were properly sideways as well, giving it, having some fun. With yeah, them. that you can't do on an old road. No, so, yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, but uh, yeah, obviously, uh, quite often, quite, I spend quite a bit of time as well in uh, Maranello, so yeah. they have a track right next to the factory, so it's quite nice. And then once you know the car and you know the track properly, I'm sure you can Yeah, it. that's yeah. Good, good fun. And you get, are you able to go out? Do you do road trips when you go on trips or anything like that by yourself? Will you usually take a car? Or will you? Well, if I if I can have it, if I you know normally we fly a lot. <laughs> yeah. Because the well, distances can, yeah. uh, are quite far. But uh, if I can have it, if I you know if there's a choice, I take the car. I, I prefer driving yeah. on my own uh, because you're flexible and you know I, as I said I, I enjoy I you like enjoy driving. getting out there driving. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, fantastic. And do you, do you drive a bunch of road cars on track as well, or is it usually do you get the from time to, take to time? These I mean, if you, the thing is, if you compare to a Formula One car, the road car is yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Diff it's a different different thing. But different uh, yeah, you can have a bit more fun, as in going sideways and throw the car around in the road car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas yeah. in a Formula One car, you want to go as fast as possible. You have to be tidy, yeah. so uh, you don't see us drifting that much. The cars are not made for drifting either. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just, it feels completely different, but uh, for sure this is more relaxed. Yeah, yeah I can uh, imagine. It's less sort of going after the track times and everything. Yeah, exactly. It's more just, I'll it's enjoy more it. fun have rather a good than time. trying to, you know, go as fast as possible yeah, every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Do you prefer, because in this sort of weather, it brings it to mind to me, do you prefer having top-down cars like this when you're driving a road car? Or are you more of like, I want a coupe, I want the most rigidity, I want to... Well, it depends. Obviously, if you have to pick one car, then, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah. you probably want to have the roof closed because most of the time it makes sense but if you have the you know possibility to have two or to yeah. swap then on a day like this that's unbeatable you know it's, you feel like you're outside but you're you know Absolutely. you're not you're driving a car so it's, it's great it's, uh, it gives you a, a very nice feeling and it, I think it also calms you down you're less in a special in a rush you because you just you can hear the yeah. car more and all this yes. stuff as well. so how closely do you work with a shell scientist on a race weekend? Or? Well, very close. I mean, similar to you, have, you know, people running around in the fuel station yeah. trying to help you if you have a problem. We have, you know, our own <laughs> shell yeah. crew running around our car trying to help us, assist us during the weekend, but also off, off track uh, yeah. in the lab. They try to come up with new formulas to try and improve the fuel. It makes a big difference these days. Yeah. Basically, what we want always is performance. Mm -hmm. And they are able to deliver more performance plus yeah. more reliability with fuels and oils. So uh, it's a key part of success nowadays. And yeah. I think we have the strongest partner on the grid. Absolutely. And what's amazing to me is how people can get the Shell V power, and it's so similar in a road car to what you have yes. in an F1 yes. car. Yes, I mean, you don't realize, but uh, yeah. Basically, I could turn up with my car with the F1, yeah. uh, fill up the V power, and go. It's We'd incredible. have to change slightly oh, the mapping. But I think the ingredients are 99% the same, so yeah. uh, it, it really shows how you know good the product is. And if if you want to do something good for your engine, it's you, the best uh, thing to do. You yeah. Invest in V power, yeah. Okay, fantastic. Thank you All so right. much. Thanks Cheers. again. Thank you. Have a great Cheers. day. Yeah. Enjoy. Cheers. Well, that's slightly terrifying. You kind of can't really go to many places with the questions, but anyways, did we do okay? Yeah. 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 yeah it was good. Sick. That was pretty cool we are now filling up because we're about to go on a bit of an adventure is it working three two one give me some there we go that was pretty cool talking to Sebastian Vettel 
Um, absolute legend, one of the only people, I think one of four people ever to have won four more world championships. So pretty special to be able to talk to him. Of course it's a bit of a weird scenario because we arrived and um, we had to concentrate a bit on, on Shell uh, because they've organized this whole thing. So um, it, was, it, it was tricky to hold a proper conversation, but I hope I did okay. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was really good fun. So thank you massively to Ferrari, to Seb, to uh, Shell, for everyone for organizing this. It was really awesome. So now we're just filling it up with a cheeky bit of V-Power and heading on to the next adventure. But thank you guys, as per usual, for watching. It's been absolutely amazing today to think that after making just little spotting videos on my iPod Touch and being able to edit them in my bedroom and stuff, we've now come to the point of interviewing Sebastian Vettel. It's just surreal, like I honestly can't believe it. So yeah, thank you guys so much. Please remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you soon, cheers. Hey -o! Quick cat saying it, Saturday in the mouth. There's no Julia.